afternoon. Good afternoon, guys. Oh, there's a jungle. Wait a wee minute. <laughs> Two seconds. Right, I'm actually very, 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 for the very first time this year, I am sitting outside in the courtyard. Now, don't be getting excited because it's to be raining. It's what was it? It says no pre no participation until 120 minutes. But that was about half an hour ago, and the sky is looking black. So I'm going to try and go on with this. Do you like my wee cup? Spitting image of Hannibal. Absolutely spitting image. So got a wee drink in there. When there's the rain starting, oh my god. I pick the blinking times, don't I? It's quite warm right enough. The wind's getting up, but it's not been as cold as it has actually been. Right. That that was in the way, as you can see, I managed to get this morning, guys, when I was out. Uh, that here is a, a, an actual French lavender. They're like wee bunny tails. Or wee bunny ears, or whatever the way you want to call it. I've got quite a few um, lavender in the garden and ones that I've, I've, that I've grown and ones that I've actually grown from seed but I've not got the French variety it's uh, it's not frost hardy it's a lot more delicate but I think the flowers look a lot prettier so we'll get that potted up probably not today because I want to get these seeds in I've got two seeds to his filled um, with compost Got a few holes put in this and the seed, um, the wee seed marker, the rest of these, I bought a packet of these and I don't know where I've put them, maybe in the garden box down the bottom of the garden there, um, but they must be along with my cable ties so wherever that is I'll find the cable ties as well. So all the ones that, um, that have been used from last year there was a load left so they are now in a jug in the kitchenette with some white vinegar and strips a whole lot off, give them a wee wash and whatever else and then I'll get them labelled up but so I don't forget in the meantime I've got my trusty little notebook that I've already written and black marker one, two, three, four, five, six, and I've written exactly what I'm going to be putting in so the first three rows in this one here is going to be my Blue Lake French climbing beans from Sutton. Yep, Blue Lake. I've made a wee hole. I will obviously uh, put some of these. When the plants are up and I'm ready for putting them in, I shall actually sow some of these French climbing beans straight into the soil. This is just to get a wee start. So, they're not round. They're like tic tacs, larger tic tacs. So I'm just going to pop one in each station. Fresh compost that I bought this morning. And I know a lot of people have been going on about their compost. Uh, is it clover? About it being absolute. Oh, I've just lost one. I bet it been absolute crap. It's no good, guys. Ours here. The compost that we usually use and we have used for a while. It's a it's a multi-purpose for oh, it's fruit, veg, flowers, just your normal uh, compost. I've tried a couple of different ones and they're they're worse. So I'll just cover these up. They'll just need a, a wee watering with a spray because the compost is quite damp. And I actually found worms in the compost, so hey ho, wee wormies as well in there. Did I fall the three of them? I'm losing the plot. I'm honest to God, guys, I am losing the plot. Three rows, I said. I've done two. Oh. There we go. Oh, yeah, we're doing it right now, Clarice. Yeah, Hannibal, I've done it now. Not for eating. Not yet, anyway. Cover them up. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have twelve. So we have twelve in there. And then next on my little book, we have just the four. And that will be my jack of all trades. 
Now, I don't actually know why I'm using this packet because I saved seeds from my own last year, but more than likely they'll keep better next. Uh, they'll keep better for next year. So now, when I put these in, I put them in on their sides. Right, Pepsi. Put them in on their sides like so, and it just stops or helps to stop them from rotting. So that's my jack of all trees on the side, we push down, we cover up. Now I'm going to cover the top of this with the uh, vermiculite anyway. There we go, and on our uh, one, two, three, four, fifth tree we have cucumber and nimrod. Oh my god, better take my gloves off for this. It says we've only got five seeds. But actually all I need is one plant. And I'll show you in a minute guys, there's still some seeds in the... There's one stuck in the lid. There is still some seeds in, uh, in the house. A lot of them I brought out and put into the two plastic greenhouses behind me to harden off. And I have potted on some seedlings of tomatoes. One, two, three, four. Well, oh, actually, they gave us six. So I'll cover that wee hole up there, and I'll put that as tiny, tiny, tiny wee seeds. I'll put two on that first one. Try to get it on its side, so it actually doesn't need a big hole. Because as I said before, um, the smaller the seed, the nearer to the top of whatever pot. So there's two in the first and two in the last, and one each in the other ones. And I just lightly cover them up, lightly, lightly, lightly. Hannibal, what are you doing? Hear that wind getting up. Is this weather no absolutely burst the titties? It really would burst the titties off you. That's quite normal for us, right enough, but uh, I'm getting really, really fed up right now. Especially because I'm behind. I'm actually not behind as as much behind as I thought. There's plenty of time for sowing all your seeds and whatever. And most of your flower seeds can get sown directly into the ground, you know what I mean? So so that's a cucumber and nimrod F1, and it's in there. And last but not least, this is your wee onions that you have, uh, they're excellent for pickling. Now, these are bought here. I think they were the same ones that I tried last year. I did manage to get two jars of uh, pickles out of them last year. But as I said before in my previous video, that allium leaf miner, let's see if it happens again this year. I'm hoping now that I've put the net in, my net and my green net and arrived so the onions and uh, shallots etc are all covered up. Right, don't need a hole for this because these are teensy 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 tiny wee things. As you all know, the Allium family, they're all black. The little black bullets. And these are actually even smaller. No, they're, no, they're just about the same. Oh, a wee bit too many in there, but they'll all be getting pricked out. At some point. I'm thinking that's plenty. I think that's actually too much. I've already sown some of these guys, so this is the second sowing of the onions at a bar letter. Right, wait and I'll get a wee bit just behind me, one that I made earlier. I've got vermiculite, or I ordered vermiculite for Amazon. And they've sent me vermiculite that you use for your snakes and your tarantulas, etc. For their bedding. So it's a lot finer. It really is. I'll keep that wind away for just now. But it's a lot finer, finer than your normal stuff. But it's still vermiculite nonetheless. Doing this. You could 
to make that up, sure you couldn't it? On your bike. Do you know something ladies? You could mix up with a wee bit of lip gloss. And use it at Christmas time. Up and down your arms and your decol what do you call that? Decolate decolage decu oh, I don't know. And brighten up a wee hogmany evening. Christmas evening when you're a nice wee black frog on. Just a thought. I like to be frugal, you know. A wee bit of a mercalite. Instead of buying that fancy stuff that I've got in the house. It's about 14 quid a pop. Just so that you get a wee bit of glitter on your arms and your neck. For your wee night out. Which we don't get much of. Never mind. So that's that, guys. There we are. Et voila. I'll put that to one side. Oh no, I won't put it to one side because Hannibal will have it. He'll be off with it. I'll try and get it in here. Right. I've just sat that in there just now because inside that greenhouse I've actually taken two trays off. Because I'm wanting to try and get two pots right in that corner, one but either a melon and oh, what's the other thing? If it's not a tomato plant, because I usually put my tomatoes outside or in the courtyard. If it's no um, my gigantimo tomato, then it shall be uh, probably gherkins or cucumbers. So I'm going to do this pot guys and I will get back to you when it's done, okay? Because it's just similar to the rest. Uh, you don't want to be bored rotten. So I'll carry on with this just now rapido and then I'll get back to you in two secs. Right guys, that's that second trace done. Excuse me, please. Uh, and it's just about to lock it down, so yet again. This will be the end of this video. I shall show you the, the line at the end. Number six, we have a Romanesco that I have just planted. On number five, we have flowering flax. I have just sown all we can hear for that wind. I have had quite a bit, quite bad germination of my chilies this year. The only ones, um, actually, apart from one that's cave tenting, is the ones that I've over, ch uh, over chilied overwintered in the house so I went out and got some more cayenne today and I know it's really has a bit too late do you know what I mean in the day for sowing these because I usually start these off in November I don't know what's happened if it's been a dodgy packet or they've been just too old I, I have no idea at all so they're in they're in number four and in number three we have green courgettes now I've already sown the yellow courgettes, I've still got stuff in the house. Number, um, let me see, we have two of these uh, seed trees, cells, sorry. And these are sunflowers and it's called, I think it's German, Rosenzone Bloom. Now I've got absolutely thousands of sunflowers, I'm growing hundreds. So they're in two seed uh, cell trees there. Um, tiny tiny wee seeds and in the top two of what's going to work it done. The top two is last year's one is the red with the black heart. We're absolutely gorgeous. Um, moving on to number two. Number two we have spinach. I have sown some spinach seeds in there and the very first one here we have some radish. Right. This pot here guys, I'm, I'm going to have to go, it's going to pop it down, I'll show you in two seconds. We've got one spaghetti squash, um, out of three, that's came, ooh, the name is all. Um, and all the way round about is, teddy bear sunflowers. I'm going to have to go guys, honest to god, I'll catch you in the next video, alright, or what to do, I love you, bye.